Hello and welcome to the Miraculous Lightworkers channel, your go-to place for all things about lightworkers and enlightenment. Today we're going to be reading from the Daily Meditations for Practicing the Course by Karen Casey. That is available at Amazon.com if anybody wants to pick up a copy. Today's reading is for October 12th and it's about guidance and responsibility. Who is responsible for this world? That's our opening question. Don't we all want to blame somebody else for even the smallest of our troubles? The lost billfold, the forgotten appointment, the spoiled dinner surely can't be solely our fault. We never intended those things to happen. Perhaps we would not resist being accountable if we didn't take the mistakes so much to heart. In this, the course can be great help, allowing us to see that our experiences are simply tools for learning the lessons we are ready for. It's what our minds do with the lessons that's significant. The ego wants us to feel guilty for any imperfect action. Guilt makes us ashamed and it multiplies. Fortunately, we are learning that even the most irresponsible actions don't have to shadow us for long if we ask the Holy Spirit for guidance. It doesn't take the burden of responsibility off of us, but it lets the experience serve a useful purpose. Closing affirmation. I am responsible for my life today. God will help me live it well. So let's just break that open, shall we? I'm a huge proponent of taking responsibility for your actions at whatever level you possibly can. I myself have experienced a lot of really interesting situations in my life and in my family because people didn't want to take responsibility for their actions. They just wanted to blame everybody else. And I feel like that is the least we can do for each other in this world is find a way to take responsibility humble ourselves, not berate ourselves, but humble ourselves and figure out where we can take responsibility for any part of a situation, whether that's how we react or a mistake. Maybe it's both. Maybe we reacted and it was a mistake, but the concept here is really Don't resist being accountable, but don't turn it into a thing where your ego is using that as some way to uh, validate itself, essentially, right? So if we can look at our experiences as tools for learning and lessons we're ready for, we grow from them. But most people will look at experiences and they will not learn from it and they will make others pay for their inability or uh, you know resistance to taking responsibility for their part in a situation so it's all about understanding the power of your mind in the situation if you let your ego run you it will take any even the smallest, any mistake that it believes that you've made in life and blow it out of proportion and use it as a way to imprison you in your own mind. Ego wants us to feel guilty for any imperfect action. Well, you're human, so to human is to err, right? We are going to make mistakes. Um, and even sometimes when we're making a decision that's right for ourselves, other people will want us to believe it's a mistake because they don't like it and they're going to use their ego in that situation to sort of make you out to be the villain of a situation or the hero of a situation or the victim, right? Your, your ego is really quite the manipulative little foe. It can be really beneficial if you can figure out how to learn from it and grow from it. But a lot of people are just really at the behest and, you know, beck and will of the ego and 
never even occurs to him to question it. So that's what this is all about. Fortunately, we're learning that even the most irresponsible actions don't have to shadow us for long if we ask the Holy Spirit for guidance. So in a situation like this where you need to remedy the situation and correct it somehow, the Holy Spirit can help you with uh, what the course refers to as a holy instant. And in that moment, it can all dissolve. It can be a problem that you've carried with you for decades. And you can ask the Holy Spirit to resolve it for you. And it can be over and done with. It's the most bizarre thing because we have these fictions built up in our mind about how we've made an error and somehow we need to pay for this. And we're going to have to pay for it for our whole lives. And, um, you know, on and on and on. These these stories just go. Um, but... It, I think it's really important to understand that by requesting of the Holy Spirit to help you to resolve any situation, it's not like you're, um, it's not like you're asking for uh, the responsibility to be taken off of you, but instead of using it as a way to guilt yourself into submission and, um, you know, sort of fortify the ego's oftentimes nefarious attempts at imprisoning you. Um, it makes it a useful experience, right? So you can actually use your mind in a creative way to build and um, appreciate the situation instead of depreciate yourself and others within the situation. So... I like this. Um, I'm a particular fan of all of the entries that have to do with responsibility. I am responsible for my life today. God will help me live it well. Thanks for joining me. And if you liked it, hit that little like button, pretty please. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. I will answer all of my comments. And um, join us next time as we all get together to... Um, share our wisdom, to share in the experience, to interact as we all uplift, enlighten, and ascend.